Hi guys, it's Triple Layered here and welcome back to Nymera Talk. Now this week we have tons to go over. We have the first details of the Nymera 2.0 blockchain, as well as looking at the AMA pricing and a few more details. So let's not delay anymore and let's get started. So first things first, we have to look into that countdown clock that has now expired on Friday. We now have all of these new details on the Nightmare 2.0 blockchain. So let's take a look over at that release page and see what it's all about. Okay, so let's look over the Nightmare blockchain 2.0. It's starting here with saying a unique multi-core design fuses the benefits of closed network scalability and growth within open source community driven development and transparency. What a good line there. So let's take a look at what they've done here. So it shows here kind of this triangle we've seen before where blockchains need to basically pick two of these things, either speed, decentralization or scalability, but you could only because they rob from each other. So what they're saying here is they've created a multi-chain system where all of these blockchains can talk to each other, therefore not having to compromise. And that is going to be an amazing piece of new technology. Multi-core blockchain, I love it. So they're showing here the different cores. So you have a central core, which is an open source uh, DPoS central core. And then you have a payment network Okay, which is a private payment network, which allows for that speed and scalability. Uh, but of course, you have transparency with independent observers to make sure the transactions are all going through neatly. And then we have new cores, which is going to be the expansion for independent uh, projects and developers. Uh, of course, we've talked about atomic swaps, the ability for these blockchains to be able to speak with each other in the past. Um, this is obviously an important thing for them to include in this new chain. We need the ability to access these outside networks as well. So they're also showing the, uh, we've talked about this before too, the non-fungible assets. This is the idea of creating these coins that are not divisible. They're singly locked into the project themselves. And these are generally used in uh, games and different things like that, that wanna have assets that are locked in so that the individual owner of that asset own say that token and that that card or that you know if we think about crypto kitties or things like that where they own that one asset and it's fixed that way um so that's that and of course they're they're talking about this being expandable for small businesses all the way up to large corporations with the apis and sdks being very easy to use and they're showing here uh just to try to like we we're, we're out to developers uh, digital wallets, asset exchanges, social platforms, games, payment, dApps, core functions, and whatever else they have in mind can be built. Of course, I'm not a developer, so I don't understand how simple this code is, but they are showing this simple code and different examples for the coding within the main page here, and that it's, writ it's written in Java, which is very popular, of course, now. Um, and of course, then it also so goes to showing what you can do with the Nightmare blockchain, um, they're going to have a foundation, which is going to be kind of a launching platform coming up to get people's ideas to become realities, a separate developers portal and community. Um, and of course, for, for users, this is similar to other projects uh, that have blockchains that people can build on. You want to have independent observers uh, for the network and of course, validators, which is going to make some money by running a node for this project. And that's really good. And of course, the community is ever so important. So that is the main page of what they have released. And it looks to be that we have an amazing new blockchain coming for this project. And from what Andrew said before, we could be having this uh, really launched and ready to go before the end of December. And that is an amazing gift uh, for Christmas and for the new year. So I know I'm not gonna be the only one who's very excited to see the documentation for Nymera 2.0 and this new blockchain. And hopefully we can see this thing live by the end of December. Now, if you guys do want more information, there was an interview done with the Nymera CEO, Andrew Zamin, that talks about the entire rebranding and the whole project. And you can find that on the Nymera blog right now. Okay, with that said, it is time for our weekly $25 EON giveaway. That's right, we're giving away $25 worth of EON every single week that's in Canadian currency. So you may see it in USD when you uh, receive it in channels or your other wallet. So without any delay, 
the address above me is the winner for this week. Congratulations. I will have that sent to you within 24 hours of the episode release. So normally this is the following day in the afternoon for my time on the East Coast of Canada. Now with the continuing look at the AMA we had with the Nymera CEO, Andrew Zemin, we're going on to question four, which asks, are we going to be moving the entire community from Discord over to channels in the near future? And since his answer is pretty short, I'm just gonna read it to you verbatim. He says, in the next six to eight months, we don't plan to transfer the community to channels because for convenience, we need a desktop client. It is in our production plan for this period. So there's no desktop client until March, 2021. But the issue uh, will be raised more than once. If there is a request from the community, we will include it in the product mo roadmap. So he is looking to move it over about later on, but if the community really, really wants it and wants to move away from Discord, then they can kind of amp that up. Now, I think Discord is working out really well so far. I know that a channel's desktop client is gonna be an amazing thing for this project, and it might be better to wait until then before moving the whole community over. Now, for all of you like me who have been waiting out there, the swap is no longer just on the testnet. You will see the first pair that is live now, which is Neo USDT that is live now that we can actually go on there and swap. I just played around with a little bit of change that I had in the wallet there, but I will be adding some more liquidity tonight as well as I know a few other people there that are adding in. And we are very excited to see new pairs come on this as well. This has traditionally just been Ethereum uh, projects that go into these uh, decentralized swapping programs, but now Excudo is really changing the game with opening up to everything. And I cannot wait to see how this market evolves. So quickly before we do the health check and exchange news, I wanna take a quick look over at the test site where we can see the new branding is already starting to play out. They said they were gonna do it slowly so that everyone can catch up with the change. And as we look on the test site, we now see it is the Nymera Exchange. And if we go over now to the health check, we're gonna see that it does say Nymera as well. So this transition is happening. Now, as for the health check, everything is looking Good for this week. We had a little bit of downtime on the 25th there. No big, big deal at all. It was just to do a couple little updates, but all systems are up and all gateways are operational. Now over to the Nymera Exchange main site here, what we can see is that volumes are very good. Now, I think we talked about it last week. I don't think volumes are really gonna be an issue for the exchange anymore because Nymera is gonna be not just an exchange, but a full brokerage system that connects you to multiple exchanges and markets. And I think that volume uh, and the worries about volume is gonna be a total thing of the past with Nymera. But let's take a quick look at the EON price. Now, starting things off, we have had a huge amount of volatility in the EON pairs. Now, of course, we're jumping between five cents US and 10 cents US and all of this. So it may be hard to peg down a pair, but like I've said for the last few weeks, I believe that this is the last of the cheap EONs. As you can see from the order book, looking at who's willing to actually sell EON right now, there is very little, only a few thousand dollars available in this kind of lower range here. And then it jumps like crazy. Now, even at the time of recording this, we're looking at like jumping into the 50, 60 cent range only in a few thousand dollars from now. And even jumping over to the Euro side where it's around 3.5, this is really not there. It jumps incredibly fast up into these higher ranges. So I think we're gonna definitely see some very large price differences happen with EON coming up very soon. Now looking at global crypto news, we cannot ignore some of the regulatory announcements that came out of the United States talking roughly about regulating BTC now. We know from the past from countries like China that have all out banned BTC in the past that there's suddenly a reaction to the price. Uh, it happens every single time, even if these regulations are impossible to impose. You know, th this is the way that a market works with emotional trading. And what we saw here, and there's, there's some validity to it, but what we saw here was about a 12% drop in BTC on the day of that announcement. Now, of course, there's been a very strong recovery since then. I think we got down to the 16,300 USD level on BTC, and now we're trading just under 18,000. Now, of course, this came right after the all-time high. Very interesting timing there for that announcement. But recovery is happening, and you're still seeing uh, these cryptocurrencies, a lot of them out there, having very, very good price points that are holding out well, even with this dip. 
Okay, guys and girls, that's all I have for you for this week. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I know I ask each week, but it's very important because that makes uh, the YouTube algorithm actually share this with more people that have similar interests and it spreads the Nightmare name. Now, don't be afraid out there that if you add too many people that the contest will dilute. As the channel grows, I'm gonna be expanding the contest and I'll have more details about that soon. So get sharing it and get more people involved. Thank you so much for watching. For Nightmare Talk, I'm Triple Air.